Hi folks, it's Tejo the Hunting Gear Guy, and this is a Ruger PC carbine with a lot of parts on it. Specifically, this ATRS chassis that allows for much easier magazine releases. So on the factory Ruger PC carbine, you've got the left-hand magazine release. It's reversible, but uh, boy, this is nicer for variety. So that's the one big thing that I like. The other thing is it has a big bad mag well on there, which makes it very easy to just ram the magazines into there. And if you're in the vicinity, you're going to get inside that big bag mag well, uh, especially compared with the factory Ruger PC carbine. Uh, and that makes this gun with this chassis a better competition shooter. Uh, here in Canada, we have uh, three gun. We have uh, IPSC rifle competitions. We have PCC steel challenge, all of which can be shot with a rifle like this. And to be able to shoot uh, competitively, you need to be able to make quick mag changes. Uh, accurate, fast to shoot, all that kind of stuff, but uh, quick mag changes. And the fastest way to do that is to be reaching for another magazine as you are dropping the current magazine that you need out of that gun. So it's important to be able to do both at the same time so that you can use your different hands to do different things while you're reloading the gun and save time. Uh, so that's piece one that, uh, that helps a rifle like this. Uh, piece two is this nice carbon fiber forehand. <laughs> so this is also from ATRS. This is done in collaboration with Protégé, 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 I don't know. That's what it says on the side of it. Uh, it's a long carbon fiber forend. Uh, the forend is light, but it is more than the tiny little bit of plastic you get on the plastic version. I haven't weighed the m -lock version, the aluminum one. I would imagine this is close or lighter than the aluminum version because it's carbon fiber. It should be lighter, right? It should be lighter. Uh, there is a, a little bit more on this one. It's got a break on it. This is added by the owner, Chris. Thanks for loaning me your rifle. Uh, this muzzle brake looks dope. Uh, this is, I, I think he told me this is an M Carbo one and it looks really good uh, on this rifle. We've got a couple of screw holes. That's for the front sight on here. We don't need a front sight where we're going though with this rifle. We've got that rail on the, on the uh, receiver. We've, we've also got a rail on the barrel. So if we wanted to we could run that one, run the red dot on there and uh, maybe not deal with the, uh, you know, four ends to bed. This is a takedown rifle, keep in mind, right? So we can take this thing down just by uh, pulling on this lever at the back and then turning it to the side. Ooh, let's pull the bolt back a little bit and pulling it out. So if there's any misalignment between these two, we could run that red dot up front, but I don't really find it's too much of an issue with these uh, Ruger PC carbines, unless you're pulling on the forend. So I have seen at Maple Seeds a couple of times, people with a, a sling on here. If you're pulling down on here with like a good tight sling, that will cause some bending and some shots to not where go where you want them to go, unless you put the dot or the scope on the front or on the um, forend of the, uh, of the rifle. Not gonna be an issue with this one because it's gonna be used for three gun and Ipsic and that kind of thing. So not an issue to worry about. Uh, this rifle also has two charging handles on it. Uh, one extended one on the left-hand side where you really need it uh, as, a, as a righty again, but with options on the right. So if you need to, and you need to grab that one with your right hand, it is available as well, which is kind of nice. Now on the back of, the, of this ATRS uh, receiver, we have an AR buffer tube uh, uh, fit on here. Now this buffer tube doesn't have an end plate spot on it. Instead, what they have is a little set screw. I'll show a photo here. They have a little set screw that goes down and that goes into that channel on the buffer tube to hold it and keep it from getting out of index. So you're not just relying on the castle nut to hold this thing nice and straight. There's also a set screw that is holding it on. Uh, at the back here, we also have some weirdness going on. There we have a little nut that's inside here that, uh, you screw into from the grip and then you also have one that screws into the receiver. So uh, we've got two underneath there that, uh, that you can see 
just from the front here, we have your typical action screw that you'd see on a Ruger um, PC Carbine or Ruger 1022, really the same. These, the actions are very, actually very similar. Um, but uh, that is all your screws to get this thing on or off. Uh, at the front, this is a very tight channel on this uh, on this front uh, takedown lever here, which is very nice, uh, but is also um, pretty specific, pretty specific to this thing. Now, the owner of this rifle has also put on a lot of other parts. We can see that they have the cooler bolt hold open. So if you need to hold the bolt open and you don't have the uh, magazine in there, you can pull this back and then press that up and that'll hold the bolt. And then to, to drop the bolt, all you need to do is pull back and then let go and off you go. Uh, we also have a Volkortsen trigger on here and I bet the owner wants to know what that thing is pulling at. So let's find out together what this Volkortsen Ruger PC Carbine trigger is pulling. I bet it's, last time I pulled on it, I guess three and a half pounds. Let's find out together. Oh, that one was three pounds. Very nice. Let's try it one more time. Two pounds, 15.9, which is three pounds. Okay, we got a three pound trigger here, which is very nice. And what's our pull and reset like? Let's find out. So there's no travel there. Just a little bit of travel on the reset, <laughs> but fine for three gun. Fine for three gun and action shooting and that kind of thing. So should you get a kit that looks like this? I think that depends on what you wanna do with your rifle. Now this adds a considerable amount of cost to a Ruger PC carbine. Ruger PC carbines are, the stock model is like eight or 900 bucks. The one with the M lock is around a thousand. You're going to be spending a lot more than that to kit one out like this. Uh, we've got the ATRS receiver here. We've got the ATRS and Protege uh, combined fore end. We've got a buffer tube, a stock, a nice grip. This is actually one of the uh, Magpul MOE Plus grips, and it is. Uh, kind of rubberized, which is, I haven't tried one of these before, and it's kind of neat. You can see we do have a, a beaver tail grip here, so we get that full continuous surface back here where the web of, web of your uh, hand goes. Uh, that feels really nice. Magazines insert really nicely, and that works really nicely. There is a, uh, there are a couple of alternatives out there to this uh, chassis system. Tandem Cross has one. It's got a, what, a bit of a weird, angle on the stock, but a lot of the other parts on it are, are go fast. Uh, uh, one of the guys that are three gun matches uh, shoots a tandem cross PC carbine, which is kind of cool. Uh, and then there's, uh, I guess you could part together some of the pieces. You can get, uh, uh, it's called a jawbone uh, connector right here for the, uh, for the mag release. This one feels fantastic. It, it's really positive. The spring pressure they got on it is really nice. And I can really feel the mag release there. It feels so good. It's so nice and smooth. It's way better than I expected uh, from this, uh, from an extended magazine release. Look how far away these things are, but they're, they're just using leverage, right? It's leveraging off the middle there and, and that's what's, what's causing it. And it's, uh, it's really nice. I would, I would definitely compete with a rifle like this. Uh, no problem. All in all, a rifle like this is probably competing with cost wise. You're into Raven territory, like, uh, in, in Canada here, that would be like an air air nine for the, for the States kind of a thing, uh, which is also going to have its go fast parts. Uh, it's not going to have, it's like, not, not going to be specific to a nine millimeter though. A lot of the air nines have like some weird little quirks that, uh, that come with them. Whereas the Ruger PC carbine, well, it comes with its own weird, little weird quirks, but <laughs> at least they're specific to, uh, I keep hitting that button, uh, to, uh, a nine millimeter PCC. Sorry. The, the button's like right there. And every time I grab it, I just want to press, press the button. Uh, but long, long and short of it is it's a, it is a big improvement on the Ruger PC carbine. Is it worth it? That really depends on how much shooting you do. If you do a ton of competitive shooting and you really like the Ruger PC carbine, you might want to take a look at the ATRS chassis and four end for it.
Thanks for watching.